This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Discount Tire presents On the Rubber. A look at both teams' pitching numbers through three innings. Brought to you by Discount Tire. Stone and Fansalker allowing four hits, two runs, both earned. They've combined to strike out three and walk one as Nate Daly starts the fourth inning. And that's a shot to right. Get there, Mitch. And Mitch McIntyre oh, can't make the catch. On the warning track, it skips away from McIntyre. The throw coming into third, and it'll be a lead from Garrett Martin as Mitch McIntyre appeared to have a bead on that drive to right, and he got to the track and couldn't haul it in at the wall. And it's a leadoff triple for Garrett Martin and the Cowboys here in the top of the fourth inning. Yeah, it's just uh, the game of inches, Greg. That just missed his his glove by uh, two or three inches Mm -hmm. off the wall for the triple. And last inning, Cole Campbell... (laughs) Was an inch or two away from yeah. a double at least. And the catch made by Trankel. Nate Daly, by the way, through three innings, has allowed three hits, two runs, neither one earned, a walk and a strikeout. That's your on the rubber report from Discount Tire. Discount Tire, let's get you taken care of. So you have the corner infield playing even with the bag. Middles are conceding their run, playing back. Martin on third, and, and the ball uh, skipped away from Colin Reuter, and run number three in the go-ahead run comes across the plate for Oklahoma State. So leadoff triple and pass ball. Martin scores, and the Cowboys take a 3-2 lead. Yeah, and that uh, just took uh, Colin Reuter's glove just right off. With Mendham in the box, the pass ball allows run number three to score. The Cowboys now three runs on three hits. The two runs they scored in the second were unearned. And a run comes across on a pass ball here in the fourth for the Cowboys' third run. 3-2 pokes, no one out, top four here in Arlington. It should be ball two to mend him, no? Correct, yeah. yeah. Scoreboard shows 1-0. It's 2-0 the count. There we go. And a take for ball three. So a 3-0 count from Daly to David Mendham with the Cowboys having taken a lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Two in the second, one in the fourth for the Pokes. The 3-0 and the take becomes strike one. Three balls and a strike to David Mendham. So... It's another unearned run yeah. with a pass ball. So the Cowboys have scored six runs last night and today, and not a single one's been earned. Well, and that one can be taken away, though, just because yep. if he gets a hit, right? It will it go will back to being go earned. back to be earned. Yeah. So, yeah. But if he punches these guys out, then it would be. It would, yeah. Pass ball brought him in, but again, that would change based on batters to come. For the time being, it's three unearned runs. For Oklahoma State, they lead 3-2. That's chop foul, by the way, full count. Three balls, two strikes to David Mendham. The full count offering is high for ball four, and Mendham walks. He likes to walk, my goodness. Three last night. Mendham still only had, uh, I think, two official at-bats in the series. With all those walks, Reuter's going to take a walk out to Nate Daly. Daly's thrown 49 pitches. He's got a runner on first and no one out here in the top of the fourth. One run already across. Oklahoma State led off the inning with a triple. Pass ball brought Garrett Martin, the tripler, home. And now Mendham is at first base with a base on balls. And Ryan Brady is down in the bullpen now getting hot. He was going to be the second half of this pitching tandem for BYU today. The question now will be when does he replace Nate Daly? How much longer will Nate go in this one? We're in the top of the fourth, and Oklahoma State has a 3-2 lead. The runner at first is Mendham. Home plate umpire Tony Prater breaks up the conference. Prater at home. Dennis Smythe at first. Sean Rakos at second. Rob Hansen at third today. That's your crew of arbiters as Nate Daly pulls the glove to his chest and throws back to first. Speedy will swipe at Mendham who's back 
easily. And now Mike Littlewood will make the walk out and take the ball from Nate Daly. So we are going to see a pitching change for BYU. It's a PZ Printing pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. We'll take a 60-second break for this pitching change. Ryan Brady will spell Nate Daly when we come back to Arlington. Cowboys 3 and BYU 2-hour score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so back here at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas for BYU and Oklahoma State. And Nate Daly's day is done. After three complete innings pitched, got in two but not out of the fourth. And so Daly goes three innings with three hits and three runs allowed. Currently all three are unearned. He walked two and struck out one. 54 total pitches thrown, of which just over half, 28, were strikes. Ryan Brady, the right-hander, is now in to throw for BYU. Taking his last warm-up tosses and getting ready to face Nolan McLean. Ryan Brady making his fourth appearance. Ten and two-thirds has given up 12 hits, four runs, three earned. He struck out 10 to two free passes offered. 2.53 is ERA. Brady, the righty, is in. Man on first base is Mendham, and the Cougs now trail 3-2. First pitch from Brady is a called strike from home plate umpire Tony Prater. Nolan McLean popped up to third. That sky-high pop that almost reached the girders. Yes, it did. Here at Globe Life. So 0 for 1 on the day for the third baseman, McLean. And that's a wild pitch to the screen and off the ricochet Ruder will handle, but advancing on the wild pitch is Mendham to second base. The fact that Nolan McLean is in the game is something of a note as he took a shot off the face. It became a single from Austin Deming in the second. And Tuck, as you called, luckily the deflection off the wrist before it hit him in the face saved him some real damage as he stayed in the game without a cut or a serious abrasion to speak of. So runner in scoring position now for McLean, who swings through strike two. One ball, two strikes to McLean. Well, Ryan Brady is a little guy, right? A little in stature, but boy, he's got a rocket arm. That's a... Uh, I mean, that was 95 just right by him right there. The 2-2 to Nolan McLean. It's outside for ball three. A full count. Tried to go to the slider there. Almost got him to chase, but uh, hung on a little too tight to it. Broke too far outside. Now go attack him here. Officially Ryan 6'1", 185. Is 6 1 generous or do you give him 6 1? I'll give him 6 1. Okay. 3 2 pokes. Top four. And that's driven to the gap in left center. It'll get down. Digging for two is McLean. Coming around to score is Mendham. And the Cowboys have a 4 to 2 lead. A stand up double for Nolan McLean. So two bagger to the gap in the left center. Yeah, and I the mean, Cowboys have a 4-2 lead. Full count. Love you attacking with the fastball there, but you just can't throw it right down the middle. Good hitters will be on time to that. And you see it right there where he hammers the double in the gap. Marcus Brown, the shortstop, the number seven hitter, fourth hitter in this inning, and still no one out for Oklahoma State. The runner on second with that run scoring double is Nolan McLean. Oklahoma State four and BYU two. And the first run of this inning that was unearned has now become earned, yeah, correct, right? Correct, yeah. Well, then uh, Ryan cannot get a feel for his slider, which makes him one dimensional. So if you're a pokes hitter, you can just. Sit dead red until he can prove you otherwise. Two balls and no strikes. First two pitches from Brady, and that's piped in for a taken strike one. Two and one. The count to Marcus Brown. Brown singled and scored in the second. 
That inning that featured two defensive errors. Both runs that inning were unearned and stayed unearned. 4-2 OSU, top four. No one out. Cowboys have a runner in scoring position for Marcus Brown. And Brown laces it to second, sliding his Penny, makes the grab, pops up with it, and fires to Sapiti for two gone here. In the top of the fourth, good play from Penny. Yep. Great team hitting there by Brown, though, to advance the runner to third with less than two. And that runner is Nolan McLean. Now at third base, advancing on the 4-3 ground out. So Brown grounds out 4-3, bringing to the dish. Caden Trenkel, the center fielder who robbed Cole Gamble of extra bases in the last inning. Cole went deep, 400-plus feet to deep left center. And Trenkel made a leaping grab on the track with his glove near the yellow line. That's ball one from Ryan Brady. I just can't believe how far he went to get that ball. Infield's playing in. Trying to cut the run down. Yeah, Ryan, back-to-back -back sliders just can't, can't quite get a feel for it. So 2-0 oh the count. Two balls, no strikes, one out, one on. The runner on third is Nolan McLean. An RBI double and advancing on the 4-3 ground out. The 2-0. That's a swing and a miss from Trenkel. Two balls and a strike of the four runs scored for Oklahoma State. Three have come in with RBIs attached. A pass ball scored the other run for OSU, leading 4-2. Trying to catch the outside corner and missing it. So three and one, the count from Brady to Trenkel. Trenkel, the number eight hitter on deck, is the catcher, Adkison. Trenkel in his first appearance, first plate appearance, a two RBI single in the second. Inside and in ball four. So a five pitch walk to Trenkel. Trenkel now has reached safely in his two appearances, a single and a base on balls, and so it's now runners on the corners with one out for the number nine hitter, Chase Atkinson. Due up, the number one hitter, and top of the order, Rock Riggio. Well, the, the one thing about that walk, it's not the worst because now it changes your defense. Now you have your middle that can uh, turn two and, and get out of this inning before they had to play in, which gives the advantage to the hitter. Now you can have your middle playing back, and you have a catcher hitting who doesn't run extremely well who now you have a chance to hit into an inning double play here, ending double play. BYU defense turned three DPs last night. It already has one here in this one. A 4-6-3 in the first. Brady kicks and fires outside edge and too far outside. Ball one to Atkinson. Atkinson lined out to Andrew Pintar to end the second inning. Runner at first is Trenkel. Runner at third is McLean. Cowboys have... Two on with one out. And already two across here in the top of the fourth. 4-2 OSU. And that is grounded sharply down the left field line. One will score. Two will score. It's a double to the left field corner for Chase Atkinson. And the back part of the order getting some work done yeah. for Oklahoma State as the Cowboys take a 6-2 lead. And that was actually a, a well Done job there by Coach Holiday. He had the hit and run on Greg. The runner at first was stealing. The hitter swings. It hits it down the line. The reason he's doing that is trying to stay out of the double play to create action. And it plays off perfectly. It hooks it down the line, hit hard down the third baseline to the wall. He scores easy from first and gets two RBIs and gets the double out of it. The runners on the corners both score. McLean from third and Trenkel, who was on the run on the hit and run from first. And it's been a four run fourth so far for Oklahoma State. A two RBI double for Atkinson. Two doubles in the inning. Well, again, Ryan, Ryan being one dimensional, if you're a hitter, you're just sitting on fastball because he can't throw his other pitches. Every time he's gone to an off speed pitch, it's been for a ball. So you're just sitting dead red, and they're getting those pitches, and they're hitting hard contacts. The 1 0 to Brady. Took the bat off the shoulder, called strike. One ball, one strike to the top of the order hitter, Rock Riggio, the second baseman. Two doubles and a triple for Oklahoma State here in the top of the fourth, Tuck. Extra base hits galore for the Cowboys. They've plated four and lead six to two now. 
Six runs on five hits. BYU two runs on four hits. The Cougs have the two errors in the game, and they contributed to the Cowboys' first runs of the game as that's sliced foul to the screen just above the Oklahoma State dugout. One ball, two strikes now from Ryan Brady to Rock Riggio. Riggio base on balls and was erased on a 4-6-3 DP in the first. He grounded out 3-1 in the third. He hits now in the fourth with his team up for 6-2. Riggio the seventh batter of the half inning for Oklahoma State. Runner at second is Atkinson with a two RBI double. The kick and fire from Brady. Hit up the middle. Handled by Brock Watkins to Sipidi. And two are gone. On the 6-3 ground out advancing on the ground out is Atkinson. He stands now 90 feet away at third base with Zach Earhart coming to plate. Well, need to find a way. And I wouldn't be surprised if Zach doesn't, who's been struggling this series, hitting. He doesn't try to drag bun here because he can really run to try to possibly steal a run and a hit here. From the top of the fourth inning, 6-2 to two Oklahoma State. Zach Earhart, a 4-6-3 DP ground out in the first. And a strikeout in the third hits now in the fourth. Again, took the bat off the shoulder. The appeal to first base on that outside pitch, no, didn't come across. And so one ball and no strikes with two out, one on for OSU. Cowboys coming in 8-6, and six, BYU coming in 8-4. and four. OSU looking to take the series after losing the opener from BYU Thursday night. And that's hitting the air to right. Cole Gamble will take a few steps forward, watch it into his glove, and three are gone in the top of the fourth. We go bottom four, but the Cowboys bring four across. It's a four-run top of the fourth for Oklahoma State. It's a 6-2 to two lead heading into the bottom of the fourth inning on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to Cougar Baseball. Alongside Tuckett Slade, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Right-hander Roman Fansalka remains on the mound for Oklahoma State. We go bottom four in the top of the fourth. Four runs on three hits. There were no errors. There was one runner left on. Oklahoma State taking a 6-2 lead over BYU to the bottom of the fourth, leading off the bottom of the fourth for BYU. The first baseman, Ryan Sapiti, struck out swinging in the first. That was against starter Mitchell Stone. He now faces Roman Fansalker, who gets him to swing through strike one. Ryan Sapiti with hits in six of his last eight games. At the big hit Thursday night in the Cougs 8 6 win over OSU. Cowboys won the second game 3 0 last night. This is the rubber match as that's chopped, handled by Van Salker, but Eat will not out. catch Sapiti. Sapiti beats the throw, and Not the throw all. is thrown away. It'll allow Sapiti to go to second base. So, leadoff runner on second. That was a high chopper that was going to make it tough for Van Salker to field cleanly and get Sapiti first base. Sapiti not only beats it out, but then the throws away where he goes to second. Yeah, nicely done. I mean, he put a ball in play, make them make the play. Pitcher tried to make an amazing play. And uh, it was it's going to go down as a hit and an error, and that's yep. how he advances to second. But, uh, you know, hey, you give up a four spot, you're down four runs, and guess what? You just chip away. A lot of baseball to be played. Chip away. So the infield single for Sapiti and the throwing error on the pitcher, Fan Salker, allows Ryan to reach second. So a runner in scoring position for Alex Sardina. Who in his first start as a Cougar, got his first hit as a Cougar in his first at-bat. And that's two for two for Sardina. The single to left, and they'll hold Sapiti. Yep. As coming up firing was Thompson. The cutoff got away, so taking second nice on that job. bobble nice is Sardina. Job. Nice job. Nice base running. Getting a nod today and... Making coach look good. Nicely done, Alex. Yeah, with no outs, you're not going to send Ryan there. You don't want to get a guy thrown out when you're down four. You have to be smart there. So coach definitely holds him. And then uh, left fielder throws in the dirt. McLean tries to block it off his shoulder, kicks away, and Alex does a great job of moving up. So now second and third, no outs with Deming up. That'll be the Cowboys' first error. They do have a guy in the bullpen going. He's still crow hopping out there, which means he hasn't got on the mound, so he's going to be a hitter or two away from being fully ready. Well, with the throwing error for Fansalker earlier, will they call that another error on the uh, mishandled cutoff there? 
Yeah, that's why uh, it should be a single yeah. with an error. Right, so two errors in the yep. inning so yep. far and for Oklahoma just, State. Yeah, they just yep. the same thing. So back-to-back -back singles with throwing errors now. So they'll actually they'll, they'll give the error to Thompson, right, the left fielder. Yeah, yeah the throwing, the throwing yep. error. So it's an E7 allowing Sardina to get to second. So Sapiti was going to go first to third, uh, second to third on the single regardless. Yep. He was held at third. And then Sardina on the single that takes second on the throwing error from Thompson as the cutoff got away. So two errors in the half inning for OSU. We'll see if BYU can make the Cowboys pay as the Cowboys did for BYU. So 6-2, to two, Pokes lead it with Austin Deming digging in. So Sapiti at third, Sardina at second. Runners, infields playing back. Corners are about halfway. And again, reinforcing the point is Fansalkas pitches outside and the appeal no good for ball one. What a great start for Alex Sardina. Gets his first yeah. his first start, and in his first uh, two at-bats today, hits in both. Single in the second, and he scored. And a single now in the third, advancing to second on the air. And we'll see what the Kooks can do with two runners in scoring position. The 1-0 coming to Deming. The kick and fire from Fence Alcorn again wide for ball two. At third base, Sapiti. At second base, Sardina. In the batter's box, Deming. Deming singled in the second. was stranded at third in that inning. BYU's down 6-2. to two. BYU's actually out hitting OSU right now, 6-5. to five. Trailing on the scoreboard, 6-2. to two. And that's hit in the air to right center. Trenkel will make the catch, deep enough to score the runner, and tagging is Sardina as yep. well. So Al Ryan Sapiti scores BYU's third run, coming in on the sack fly to right, and Alex hitting. Sardina taking third on the tag. And so it's an RBI for Austin Denning on the sack fly to right. Yeah, hit well. Just hung up there in the gap, and Trinkle can really run. But uh, Alex did a good job at second of also tagging. So now Watkins has a chance to, to, get another, to get an RBI as well here. Corners are playing in now. Middle's back. So a ground ball up the middle. will score a run. RBI Deming. Swing and a miss from Brock Watkins on the first pitch of the at-bat from Fansalker. BYU now trailing 6-3. to three. And at third base is Alex Sardina. Still in a sack situation. Should have to get a fly ball up. One gone here in the bottom of the fourth. BYU playing catch up down 3, 6-3. to three. Fansalker kicks and fires high and away. Well, and these, these runs right now, you have runs that you have to get, right? You're trailing 3. You've got to chip away. We were down 4. Hey, now we're down to 3. Cut it to two here if Brock can get a job done, right? And now you're right back in the game. Six three pokes, bottom four. Good take. And that's three straight up. Uh, I thought it was three and oh. One, uh, two well, and one. The, the first, the first pitch, one, yeah. yeah. Two and one the count. Well, the key is, is prove he has to th for a called strike, right? We've swung at it, but it's been a ball. It would have been a ball. Make him throw that. Take the slider away and be ready for fastball. Two balls and a strike to Watkins. One out, one on. Bottom four. Roman Fansalker delivers high in the zone for ball three. Three balls and a strike to Brock. Brock in his first at bat. A sack bunt in the second. Great time to hit, Brock. The 3-1. And he fouls it back to the screen for a full count. Got a good pitch to hit there. He was just a little tardy on that. Now, hey, battle here. Find a way. Put a ball in play. First base is moving back now. Put a ball in play, score, run, or take your walk. Three balls, two strikes, one gone, one on. Bottom four, OSU six and BYU three. The righty fence, Salker, the right-handed hitting Watkins. Brock waggles the bat. Comes inside take, on him. Good take. Him. So Brock Watkins will take his base. A free pass to Watkins. And now it's runners on the corners for the top of the order. Mitch McIntyre. Yeah. Nicely done. Back to the top here. Mitch had an RBI ground out in the second. A 4-3 ground out scoring BYU's second run. Tied the game at two at that moment. In the top of the fourth, the Cowboys plated four. 
And the Cougs now battling back. They've scored one to answer in the bottom of the frame. Six to three, Oklahoma State leads it. BYU three runs on six hits, two errors. Cowboys six runs on five hits, two errors. At first, Watkins. At third, Sardina. And the throw back to first. And this is a spot here, Greg, where I've talked about a few times throughout this series. With the way that they're playing double play depth, you have your second baseman has to pinch, right? And the first baseman's holding Brock on. So if you just shoot it into the four hole, a two hopper, okay, Brock goes first to third, you get an RBI, and you keep this rally going. Catches the outside corner for strike one to Mitch McIntyre. These are spots where, yeah, you want Mitch to, you know, at least put a ball in the outfield and score a run, but it's nice if you can keep this rally going by getting the big hit and advancing the runners and keeping this thing going. And they get a lot of room to the pull side, as Tuck notes a moment ago. Left-handed hitting Mitch McIntyre to the righty, Van Salker. Van Salker Good doesn't take. get the call on the take of ball one. So one ball, one strike, one out, two on for BYU. Cougs look at the stage of rally here in the bottom of the fourth inning. They've scored one in the first, one in the second, and one in the fourth. Greg, I'm finally into game three, kind of figuring out the height, a high pitch to low pitch. I'm finally figuring out that depth perception now. And that ball is low there. Van Salker fires back to first. Swiping down on Watkins is Mendham. But Brock back in plenty of time. Brock Watkins takes his lead at first. Sardina the same at third. Sardina with the second of back-to-back -back singles for BYU here in the fourth inning. Got to run, Mitch. Got to run, Mitch. Got to run, Mitch. Grounder to second, short for one, and back to first. The 4-6-3 DP gets Oklahoma State out of the inning. BYU scores one run on two hits. There were two errors, and there were two left on. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Oklahoma State six and BYU three on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to Cougar Baseball. Alongside Tuckett Slade, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. New pitcher for Oklahoma State here in the bottom of the fifth inning. BYU trailing OSU by a score of 6-3. to three. And making his first appearance against the Cougars of this series is Baden Root. In five appearances, the right-hander Root has a 1.08 ERA. Again, BYU seeing him for the first time in this series. Played the last three years at Ohio State. And the first batter he will face here in the bottom of the fifth is BYU's Hayden Latham, the left fielder Latham. Solo shot in the first to put BYU on top, 1-0. Tooks now trail by a score of 6-3. Just keep chipping away. You got one back. Would have liked to get at least two last inning, but... Uh... Keep chipping away here. Down three, a lot of outs to go. Baden Root, 6'2", 216 pounds, the fourth year junior. And they get a Buckeye transfer. Latham with the home run and the fly out to the center fielder in his two plate appearances. Ball one, delivery from Root. BYU out hitting Oklahoma State 6-5, being outscored 6-3. Both teams have two errors. Root the wind up and delivery. In on the chest of Latham for ball two. 2-0 two oh from Root. In his first pitches of the day. In day games, BYU 5-3 this season. Oklahoma State 6-4 in the matinees. The 2-0. Oh. Take for strike one. Two balls and a strike to BYU's left fielder. Hayden Latham. Now two for eight in the series with... Two RBI and three runs scored. The kick and fire and a two-hop grounder to second. Handled cleanly there by Riggio. He'll fire low to Mendham, but still get Latham. One gone here in the bottom of the fifth on the 4-3 ground out. Yeah, you fall down 2-0. You're hoping to, you know, get yourself into a good count. Comes back 2-1 and then gets the ground out. Andrew Pintar, strikeout and ground out in his first two appearances in the first and third innings, respectively. Penny one for ten in the series with five Ks. Looking to get loose here. He's 229, his, hitting, his batting average on the season. And that'll be a first pitch grounder to McLean. Handles off the hop, guns to Mendham, and 
The speedy Pintar is out at first, and two are gone here in the bottom of the fifth. So a 5-3 ground out for Pinney. It'll bring Cole Gamble to the dish. Gamble with a single and was stranded in the first. And then he flew out to deep, deep left center in the third. A spectacular play from center fielder Caden Tranquil to rob Cole of extra bases. It really was, Greg. I can't get over how good of a play that was. Around 400 feet of fly out to center field for Gamble on that play from Trenkel. So Cole, one for two, squares and pulls back as that ball's well outside for ball one. So Baden Root, one ball and no strikes to BYU's home runs leader and second leading run driver, Cole Gamble. Good one slider one. right there, really good slider. One ball, one strike, and two gone. Bottom five. Cougs down three. Baden Root. That's high and outside for ball two. Two and one. Cougs five and one on the year when scoring first, and BYU did score first in this one. Solo shot in the first from Latham. The two one goes to two two. As Cole will step back and step out. Latham ground out, Pintar ground out. In the first two at-bats of this inning for BYU, the two-ball, two-strike, and two-out delivery from Baden Root. The righty winds up and fires, and Gamble lifts it to left. Getting a decent enough jump on it, though, is Jake Thompson. And makes the catch for the third out in the bottom of the fifth. For BYU bottom five, no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. We go top six, Cowboys three, Cowboys six, and Cougars three on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.